Well, there's some new concerns from Republican lawmakers about the reported top candidate for Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's position, and that would be the woman that you see on the screen there, Ambassador Susan Rice, to the U.N. Now, her comments on the Benghazi terror attacks outraged some people in Washington who felt that she was not giving them the straight story. And Senator Marco Rubio says that she will have to answer for that. Watch. I'm concerned about the fact that she went on Sunday shows and said that this was the product of a spontaneous uprising as opposed to a terrorist attack. Obviously, she based those comments on directives or information that she had, and it's important to know who's, who that directive came from and what exactly that information was. And I think what was import, real important to know is, is why did they wait so long, even after they knew that it was not a the result of a YouTube video, why did they wait so long to publicly change their position on it? So I think she'd have to answer questions about that. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it, says uh, Senator Marco Rubio. I'm joined now by the author of Thank the Liberals for Saving America. He's also the host of the Alan Combs radio show. And Pete Snyder is a former pollster to Rudy Giuliani and a Fox News contributor. Welcome, gentlemen. Hi. Good to have you here. Hi, Martha. Uh, so the administration floating Susan Rice, the U.N. ambassador, as a potential to replace Hillary Clinton. Pete, what do you think? I think it'd be a horrible uh, idea, especially in the wake of really the cover-up of Benghazi, the misinformation that, that Susan Rice went out and told all Americans on the Sunday shows. You know, anyone who's ever done a Sunday show knows that you don't do that without have you know, speak on behalf of the White House, without getting talking points from the White House, without having a briefing from the political shop there. So, I mean, you have, we have two choices here. One, I think, should be a horrible choice. But if we actually want to get to the bottom of what happened to Benghazi, there'd be no better way than those Senate confirmation hearings. Mm. So given that, Alan, uh, the White House you know, sort of floating this, we see this happen a lot. They kind of put some names out there and see what the reaction is. Do you think they'll change their mind? Not necessarily. I know that John Kerry really would like the job, and I think he'd be a great choice as well. But I disagree with this continual drumbeat from the right that there's some kind of cover-up that went on here. The initial report showed that it was about a video. And whether it's about a video or something else, the fact of the matter is uh, the administration acknowledged right away it was a terrorist attack. Susan Rice went on television and said what she knew at the time. And I think this is a political ploy to try to once again go after the administration as they try to do to make this an election issue, which didn't succeed too well for Republicans. Well, I mean, there's tons of evidence that, you know, that people did know that it was a terrorist attack within 24 hours. I don't necessarily I want to relitigate uh, all of the discussion that right. we've had about the timing on Benghazi, I but I do want to talk about... <laughs> he well, would, that, he that would, fine. See? I'm just saying that's not what, you know, we, we know <laughs> that, the reason, Alan, we know that Susan Rice's nomination mm -hmm. will bring this issue up, and right. that, that's what we're, you know, focusing on right now, because it will be relitigated if indeed it does come up. But Pete, that they would put her name out there and suggest that they like her, mean that they're not concerned about that. Well, I feel like I, you don't leak anything in Washington without uh, having some concerns or wanting to have float a trial balloon out there. I believe the right thing for Barack Obama, and he has an incredible opportunity to actually lead if he wants to. He chose not to after being elected in 2008 and solely focusing on Obamacare. He should really take a, a team of rivals uh, you know, page book like he did with Hillary Clinton and put John McCain as Secretary of State. <laughs> that would that would be What's an so funny unbelievable about that, thing. Uh, I, actually, funny? no, I think it's a very interesting idea. I thought look, I like John McCain very much. I, it's unlikely. I would think John Kerry would probably be a choice before uh, John McCain. But I think John McCain would probably Alan. be a very good idea, quite frankly, and reach across the aisle. However, let's not forget, Pete. It sounds like you're still you are trying to relitigate the election, saying that Obama did nothing but Obamacare, which is not true. Let's move forward and realize to the victim go the spoils. You, you know, unfortunately, Alan, uh, you didn't win the election. There are no so let's spoils move with, with, with a dead ambassador in Libya. And that, I mean, wait a minute, do so need to get to the bottom of it's that. It's Susan Alan. Rice's fault that there's a dead ambassador. It's Barack Obama's fault. Alan, we need fault. to get to the bottom of it. Well, there, no, no, of course you're, not. You're, 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 you're arguing what we argued it to a month ago. Let's move we forward. Did. Alan, Alan, Look, the, you know there's, there's been no Regardless results of, the investigation. of what we say here today, uh, there's testimony being given right now on this issue, which obviously is a very hot issue and remains so of Benghazi. And we know that we're going to hear from General Petraeus in the coming days. So right. if there is more to be told on this story, sure. uh, yeah. we're going to get to the bottom of it. So, uh, and we'll see whether or not Susan Rice is a name that they continue to stand by as they move forward in the process. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. Good to Thanks, see you. Martha. Pete, so, Jenna Lee, standing by 12 minutes.